Hello boys and girls, figured I'd make a video uh, showing how exactly I set up my studio in this truck. So figured let's go on ahead. So we're going to play some Minecraft, I had a lot of fun with that yesterday, so we're going to go and continue on with that. First and foremost, sensor bar always goes behind this uh, belt right here and that's usually a good system that I have. Water bottle is always right here. And here's where I store my TV and monitor. So what I do is every time I stop and I'm ready to stream, take out the seat belts. So that way they're firmly in place. And I pick up my TV. It's lightweight, that's why I can do a lot of this one-handed. And I store my TV right there. And keep in mind, this is a 2017 International Pro Star, so. Pretty roomy actually. Doesn't look like it, but it really is. So I lay my TV down. Don't worry, the screen's fine. As long as I don't slam down on it, we're gonna be okay. Okay, next is my monitor. These this is my hamper. So I grab my monitor. There we go. It's a nice Dell monitor, high definition. I love it. Got it for ten dollars at a yard sale, and it's from people who don't know what the hell they're selling, kind of thing. So I was like, all right, you want to sell it for $10? That sounds good. I had a bigger monitor, but when uh, my ex is cleaning out the storage unit, she got it all scratched. She got the other one all scratched up. So I'm down to this. Let me clean the lens real quick. It looks a little, there we go. All right. So forgive me, I'm in my socks because I don't like to bring my shoes back here anymore. Keeps it better, keeps it clean. All right. So make sure the curtain goes back. That's my trash bag. Uh, here's my computer. Ow, fucker. I didn't mean to do that. There. So I slide it out at about like 25 degree angle. There we go. I open this drawer. This drawer has all my wonderful things. Sometimes I gotta slide this in because the things I need are in the back. So we're playing Minecraft, so I don't need to pick out any of these games. I just grab my controller, make sure just power to it. Yep that there all right I have all my my capture card bundle right here I try to keep it you know bundled in a circle this is for my TV here's my handy capture card so I'll close this back up all right so when it comes to setting up the capture card this cable is the one that always ends up in the TV and again, I do apologize for focusing, but we're not really here to look at very, very, very specifics. Y'all know what an HDMI cable looks like, and if not, I mean, we have the internet. Okay, and then this end goes into the out port. What the hell is on my hand? Looks like a napkin. Okay. The USB Type-C cable, uh, it needs a Type-C obviously to connect. It does audio through USB, but you may get a delay, even with a nicer computer, so it's honestly just recommended, and so much easier on everything processing-wise, to just use it, uh, just connect the an auxiliary cable, like so. Straight into your, your capture card. Okay. So we put that on the floor put this into our line in port on our PC god damn it uh, I got hell USB ports back here and I freaking love it so I have my USB uh, 3.0's right here so plug in my capture card there grab my other HDMI cable and I connect it to whatever I plan to stream so like if I wanted to stream to say the Wii or uh, something older I have an adapter which allows me to plug in these cables and it turns it into that So I can plug it straight to an HDMI and it's just an eight. It's just that uh, RCA to HDMI upscaler Simple yet effective Could it be better. Yeah, but it's literally taking uh, I think what are they analog signals and trying to make them as digital as possible so obviously there's gonna be some quality loss, but Overall, I mean, it makes streaming a hell of a lot easier. Oh wait, no, I almost connected it to the Wii. Here's my bundle of wires back here. They're more organized than they look. 
Like I know where everything is when I need it. So that's good for me. All right, plug the HDMI into my Xbox. Okay. Now the TV, let's see, we go down here. And this is why it takes me so long to set up my, uh, my, uh, you know, my streams because I have to do all this. I mean, I'd be a little quicker if I wasn't holding a phone in my hand, but yeah, it is what it is. All right, so plug in a monitor. I usually plug it in about the second one. There we go. Got power to the monitor. Okay. Right here, before I flip the TV back up, is always make sure HDMI is plugged in and this uh, headphone, um, headphone adapter extender basically. It's a long ass one because I didn't know how long I'd need because there'd be those days where I just want to chill. And yes, during my streams, I wear about two sets of headphones and it works for me, you know? It's all I ever needed. So just give me a moment. I'm, uh, there we go. Okay. So again, headphone extender. Go grab my headphones. Or my earbuds, I should say. Boom. And I slide this wire out of the way. Again, it's a long go wire. So when it gets caught like that, I have to unplug it real quick because I don't feel like dealing with HDMIs once they're down there. Plug it in, boom. Now we can flip the TV up. And if you wanted to add a little razzle dazzle, we can give the TV a little tilt. But it's usually about the max amount of tilt I do. All right. So we got our earbuds over here. They would stop getting tangled for a moment. There we go. So, we got that. Again, the, bit, the most important thing to do when you're uh, streaming, do not use your hotspot unless you have some seriously fast data, which most don't, especially if you're on the go. You know, it's a hit and miss. So you're not gonna get very solid streaming speeds or stable, so you're gonna get a lot of buffering, a lot of uh, graphical issues. So you make sure to plug this in, plug your phone in, and use it like a modem. And that's what I do. And I'll set that up in a bit. I obviously can't show you. Oh, I guess I can screen record, but it would be separate videos. But anyway, all right, so we plug that in. Make sure to get our uh, DVI plugged into our graphics card. We got us a nice uh, GeForce GTX 1650, and it's not bad at all for me. It's the overclock edition. I don't know a hell of a lot about the newer technologies, but works for me. I just tighten one of these barely so it doesn't fall out. There we go. Grab my my headphones, or my actual gaming headset. Huh, that's where those donuts went. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, get my headphones out here again. A lot faster if I had two hands. There we go. They're USB. They're the Logitech G432s. They work pretty damn good for my streams. They can't handle, obviously, me screaming too well, but again, there's not a lot of microphones for solid prices that can do that. I'm pretty sure there is. I haven't done my research. I saw these. They look comfy. They look good. And honestly, they've worked great. So I got those connected as well. And then, when everything's somewhat set up down here, I go up here and grab my uh, wireless keyboard and mouse set. I keep putting it in a box just to keep it nice and safe. It's funny because one of the features, I turn it on, there we go. One of the features of it is supposedly whisper typing, but the thing really clicks. The box I usually just store right around here while I'm streaming, so when I'm done, I can just put it back. Push that button out, pull this out. Boom, keyboard doesn't fit perfectly, but it works. Mouse goes right here. I have enough range for what I need to do because I have the sensitivity set. So we're good. And then we make sure everything's plugged in. We're missing our power cable for our tower. That's important. So we need to plug that in. So this big old hefty boy right here. Actually, let me let me close this so the light goes down there. Really thick ass cable. Okay, plug that in. There. 
And then we got power there. Um, I'm trying to remember. I feel like I'm forgetting some other cable. Oh, that's right. The actual power cable for the Xbox. I keep all my power cables over here. If I can grab them. I keep them to the side of the consoles. Sometimes they get caught on the bottom drawer. Sometimes not. It all depends. Look at a draw. Okay. I always save the last outlet for the Xbox because the, because the Xbox cable, the way I have it set up, it has to actually stretch. Whoops, I didn't realize I turned the camera. Okay. And then same with the TV, I always leave that first one closest to the left open so the TV doesn't have to go as far of a stretch. Alright, so I should always have four cables plugged in. Any more, and I start asking questions because that's very uh, interesting. Okay. PC's booting up. We got that blue light. Our screen should turn on momentarily. There it goes. Got an Asus motherboard in here. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Grab our remote out of here. Turn on our TV. It's a little cheapy TV. Walmart brand, but it does the trick. It's got HDMI. It works for me. To make sure graphics cards uh, connected properly, I turn on the Xbox first, and if it's properly connected, it'll actually start uh, displaying on the screen. And sometimes you'll get that kind of like look because my cable is garbage. It's supposed to be one of the fancier ones, but it's not. So the quickest fix I found to do is until I can go get a new one is unplug the output and plug it back in, and we're fixed. All right. So let me put this down real quick. Okay. So we're logging in right now. And once we're uh, booted up and logged in, what I usually do is, which I can't do because I don't have the, I can put the Wi-Fi on, but again, I like to use, you know, a uh, modem. I open up Chrome to get the restream, my Discord, my Streamlabs, and then whatever program I use, I also log into restream and I gotta figure out what's going on with that. But yeah, and that's what uh, that's what takes so long. And then I gotta make sure everything's configured and set up right, I gotta type in my titles, uh, descriptions, game categories, all that good stuff before I can start streaming. But that's pretty much it, and that's why it takes me about 10 minutes each time to set up for the stream, but it only takes me about 5 minutes to, uh, you know, put everything away. So, it all works out in the end. Uh, well, I'm going to post this uh, on my pages. Catch y'all later. See ya.